Hello everyone, this is Baron, and this is Battle 53 of the Season 5 um, 1.3 AI Tournament. This is the second half of the uh, Round 3 series of matches. And we already saw from the first half, four players are already in the Elite 8, or otherwise known as the quarterfinals. We're going to find out what four other players will be joining them. As right now, we have Gagnon vs. Wiz. Gagnon's team has Redis the Ninja, Rekin the Marksman, Elza the Wizard, and Larsa the Time Mage. Versus uh, Wiz's team, who he has on his side, Ruxfani the Samurai, Dissy the Ninja, Wiz the Pimp Daddy Lancer. Ooh, yeah! Macho Man Randy Savage loves this Lancer. Even though he's watching from the heavens, Macho Man loves that Lancer. Yes, he does. Ooh, yeah. And Seldio the Time Age. <laughs> Alright, quick analysis after a little um, homage to Randy Savage. Um, Alright, Guidance team, look at him for a quick second. His ninja is a little bit tanky, has a bit of an item bot, uh, move HP up, and angel range so that he that way he can live more than once. Pretty nice setup. Uh, Reeking the Marksman, basically a support damage unit, you could say. A little bit of speed, a little bit of power, and a little bit of evasion. Uh, particularly from the Crystal Shield, which makes him a pretty well-rounded unit, especially with Dragon Spirit. Uh, Elder the Wizard, magic defend up, so she can uh, survive quite a few keep, quite a few droughts, maybe even Geomancy if possible. Uh, abandoned so she can guard a lot of shots as long as and plus she has no black magic on purpose because her job is to simply uh, draw out spam and Lars of the time mage is simply a typical um, support unit with short charge and damage split now Wiz on the other hand has a samurai who does basically the same thing as um, his wizard does o the only difference is this samurai has twice the amount of health the wizard has in order to live plus she has regen so she's gonna be pretty tough to take down uh, Dizzy the ninja, uh, pretty much just like my ninja, uh, only his is female, mine is nail, but they both basically function the exact same way. His Lancer, yes, this is Macho Man speaking again. His Lancer looks like Baron's Lancer. He likes to item bot and like to jump from afar. The only difference is this Lancer has dr uh, damage split. <clears throat> yeah. And, my, and uh, Baron's Lancer, which is my Lancer, <laughs> has Dragon Spirit. Okay, and off the Randy Savage. <laughs> Alright, uh, and we got Sally of the Time Mage, another typical support unit with 12 speed. Might not be the highest MA, but that's, that's not what Wiz is looking for. What he's looking for is those quick spells to be going off. A quick cure 3s, quick raise 2s, uh, you know, of the of the like. Anyways, we'll be going to uh, map 54, Lost Sacred Precincts. Ooh, yeah! Alright, so we got Gaiden in the red versus Wiz in the yellow. Trust me, this will be the only time you will see me act like Randy Savage for those few seconds. Okay. Triple Parallel Haste onto herself. The Ninja and the Lancer. Okay, Dizzy will be moving forward, not doing much. And Red's gonna go for a Papyrus play that's gonna miss because of Abandon. Jump's gonna land. Probably Earth Slash. Crit on the Ninja. Which is actually a bit of a backfire, you can almost say. Slow will hit. No, slow gets guarded. And we're gonna see uh, the rest of uh, Wiz's units approach. And Dizzy Ninja will go after the Time Mage, kill her mid char, uh, kill her yeah one shots. And Redis, who's already at 13 speed, is gonna resurrect the Time Mage right back up. Or well, Larsa, I should say. Celia is go for haste. Is going to hit. Rekin is going to go after. A tempo strike to the miss, but Elder's gonna take care of that with Kiku. Damage split, good job. Cure three, will it hit in time? No, it won't. It's gonna go for a double kill, and yeah, Gagnon already in a lot of trouble. Papyrus play is going to bring down uh, Dissy, but she's gonna get picked right back up because of a race two. So wow, yeah, bad break for Gagnon, already in round one. However, Larsa is going to try to raise the wizard. Will she be able to get that off in time? Yes, she will. Alright, so we got constant raises two going off. One one of them is gonna hit. Okay, jumps is gonna hit Res the Ninja. Uh it's, it's funny, is gonna go for Kiku. Speed save. And that ninja will be going down pretty much after the jump. Which is waiting for the jump to land. And that wizard gets KO'd as well. Yep, wait, okay, Ninja does get back up because of the re-raise. He's going to expulsion himself and then run away. And Gagnon's 
He's gonna go for chakra. All right, raise two on the wizard. Will that go off? Yes, it will. So Gaina is trying to um. Hopefully that wizard can get an attack off, and she will. Kiku brain down. Uh, Dizzy the ninja forcing Wiz the forces Wiz the pimp daddy to fall back and pick up Dizzy with the phoenix down. So Gaidan could uh, be coming back here. We don't know yet. Spell is going to hit for 143. Maramasa is going to death sentence on the ninja. Um, that could work against Wiz actually, simply because uh. Death on, on an Angel Ring Ninja doesn't mean anything. The ninja's not gonna die. He's gonna basically get free turns to sandbag and free turns to do damage. And Hazon wins the Lancer. Okay, Elza is gonna go for a draw out on Xfani is gonna drop her. She's gonna run into enemy territory. Papyrus play 156 damage split. And Wiz is, gonna, is going to revive uh, the Samurai one more time. Ditchy Ninja is gonna go after the nin the wizard one more time. And Sardis so is going to go for a cure 3. Spine is going to use a chakra for whatever reason. But she gets taken down thanks to Reekin. Alright. And Larsa is going to go for a raise 2. Will that go off? Resident Ninja is going to kill the Time Age mid charge. So Gaiden is making a comeback here. Puts the Ninja's death sentence. He's going to be ignored by the AI on top. Wizard gets picked up. Get back, picked back up. And yeah, so it's uh, 2 on 4. We'll make that. Four on three in favor of Gaidan, and two of the units are in critical. Cure three is gonna go off on both sides. All right, so the ninja and time age for wizard side is back up, as is the marksman and the wizard for Gaidan. Okay, and Red Ninja will kill Sally of the time age mid charge. Uh, not mid charge. I'm sorry. One shot. All right, so they have each other in sandbag mode right now, but. Gaida is making a tremendous comeback in this match. I thought Wiz had him. But, yeah, Gaida has shown his staying power. And his damage output as well. Taking down Celia one more time and it's 4 on 1. No, I'm sorry. Um, that's not 4 on 1, it's 3 on 2. Now it's 3 on 1. Okay, Red's getting a, a double turn. Death Tent? Nope, no Death Tent. That would have been pretty bad because that would allow Wiz to uh, sandbag. Without being fear of being hurt, okay? Kiku? Alright, that lance is in critical and Wow. After a series of turn events, Gaidan takes round one. Alright, we're here for round two between uh Gaidan and Wiz, and we are in map forty eight, Slum Zargidas. So I have the music rewinded a little bit. I kinda lost track of where we left off, but don't matter. Okay, prize play 143, no speed save. This ninja will capitalize on this. A double weapon break! Oh my god! First time we see a double weapon break in this tournament, and Resident Ninja is useless! Because he has no weapons on him. All he can do is sandbag. It may be throw, but holy crap. Wow, a double weapon break was key. Key! Death Death is on that wizard, so. I don't know, it could be either good for Gaiden or bad for Gaiden, not sure yet. Because now the Wizard's gonna have free turns to uh, Kiku spam the rest of Wizard's uh, squad here. And Cure 3 on the unattended target. Even Bare Fisted, the ninja can do a respectable amount. Um, but it's going to be uh, tough to call because now, now the Elder can have two free turns. To do Kiku Span, and just like that, she dropped two units. So, wow. Death Sentence might have actually backfired on Wiz that time. However, we are going to see a raise two. And this Ninja will come back, will get right back up, and kill the Time Mage. But, Red Ninja, the only thing you can do now that both his weapons are broken, is uh, Sandbag. Crossbow Shot, Double Shot, wow. Wow. I am impressed the way this match is turned out right now. And the wizard's not doing anything, which means she's probably gonna, she's definitely going to die next turn. And a fireball to heal up Seldia. Who's gonna get Dragon Spirit? Good thing on her part. Resident Ninja is going to kill off Seldia one more time. Reek and the Marksman is going to go for Earth Slash, concentrated Earth Slash. Slow. Will it hit? 
Yes, it will. So just see the ninja is slowed. So it's right now three on three is well, make that two on three. More more uh, earth slash damage. Slowly but surely breaking down that unit, breaking down uh, the ninja. Well, Wizard's ninja. All right, we can see cure three resolve. And Red Ninja is going to go for more uh, sandbagging right now. And more Earth Slash. How are we going to trigger Dragon Spirit? Okay, Celia is going to go fall back. Try to go for a don't move proc, I think. Larsa is going to move back. Gaiden better, better revive that wizard because his wizard is the only. Okay, we can see him Saying, Sane. Alright. And stay in range of cure 3. That's actually a pretty good idea. All right, bare fist and one shots. Uh... All right, so it looks like Wiz is going to be taking uh, round two now. Yeah, um, that's definitely what it looks like right now. Gaiden is on a four on two disadvantage right now, and the only thing Red and Ninja can really do is just sandbag. Death touch is on the Ninja, which backfired on Wiz last round. But won't be much of a problem this time because it's four on one, and there's no way Gaiden can come back from this. Yep, we're just gonna be waiting for the killing blow at some point. And Speed Save goes off on the Death Sentence uh, Ninja again. They're ignoring uh, the Death, yeah, Death Sentence Ninja because even though yeah, Wizards crystallizes so. Gaiden screwed here in round two, and he just fallen back. All right, when Death of this wears off, um, they're gonna take down Resident Ninja, and we will be going to round three. Impressive turnaround by Wiz, certainly. As Saudia is just keeping everyone hasty, keeping everyone alive, and the Pimp Daddy is refilling the Time Age's MP. Alright, more speed save. But to be quite honest with you, uh, Guide Knight is pretty much screwed. Okay, it's an immediate 4v1. And they are gonna catch up to him sooner or later. Yagi Dart is gonna trigger speed save, though. More speed save, damn. That ninja just, uh. Okay, we're gonna see another haste onto, uh, Pimp Daddy. And Red is going to heal himself once again. And he's going to run away. Dissy is going to go for Yagi Dirtness. Speed save again. Wow. And more X Potion. And he's going to hang back over here. So, Wiz's, uh, Lance, Wiz's Ninja and Samurai are the only one that's going to catch up to him currently. As speed saves keep going off onto Red the Ninja. One more crystal's gonna pop up, but I sincerely doubt that this ninja can take down the rest of Wizard's units. There's just no way. It doesn't matter how much speed save he, he may have. Yep, we're just waiting for, uh... Yeah, this is gonna be pretty interesting from here because now they're having a hard time bringing down that ninja, but... I'm pretty confident that this, this ninja cannot come back from this. He does get another turn, though. And more Kiku spam. No, no speed save this time. And, yep. We'll go into round three. No, we're not. Not yet. But we will very soon. Very, very soon. But damn, that ninja just will not go down. Well, Gaiden's ninja, he gets another turn. Turn city damage pa papyrus plate. Damn. More speed save triggering, and yep. Oh, wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gaiden's ninja is still alive? 429 damage mid charge, he gets a double turn. Holy shit. That's one freaking fast ninja. 
Is he ever gonna die? Damn. Wow, I am in shock right now over what we're watching here. And that one shot the time age with a single papyrus plate. Damn. And he gets another turn, but he won't be able to hit through abandon though. And he's don't act it, so yep. He's screwed. Good showing though, I have to say, good showing. But it's not gonna be enough. Alright, we're gonna be going to round three between Wiz and Gagnon. I will see you for that. We're here for the tiebreaker, folks. And this time we're in map A6, Dogolia Pass. And still he's ready to go for a triple slow proc. Slow, guarded, guarded. Okay, so only the ninja gets slowed. Spell Edge, no Dragon Spirit. And Red's ninja is ready to try to kill the Time Age, but can't. Because of Dragon Spirit. Earth Slash, concentrate, pretty good. Well, she's trying to go for a haste too. Well, she, she might be able to get that off in time. Jump goes up on Redis the ninja. Draw out. He's going to kill Dizzy the ninja. So, we're going to see haste two go off. And we're going to see some more Kiku. That wizard survives because the matches are fanned up. Let's not forget that. And so, she's trying to go for a cure three. But Redis the ninja is not going to allow that to happen. And Larsa is going to be able to do a raise two onto the marksman. And Phoenix down on the Saudia. Raise 2 will be going off on Rika the Marksman. Very good. And just like that, already it's uh, 4 on 2. And Gaiden is looking pretty good right now. Revive on Dizzy the Ninja. And she's going to fall back. Cure 3. And Dizzy the Ninja won't be able to shield break. He's going to hit, he's going to hit the Marksman. Um... Papyrus Plate, he's gonna hit right through Abandon, holy crap. And Wiz is in stuck in sandbag mode right now. Slow on Seldia. It's gonna miss, wow, 94% slow, miss, that's insanely unlucky. Kiku, no damage split though. Papyrus Plate, damage split's gonna hit this time though. And it's funny, he's gonna go for Muramasa. Oh, that time is confused. That's, this could be the clincher Wiz is looking for. We'll see, though. And more Phoenix down from the Lancer. This time is going for a haze on the Samurai. And Red's Ninja is trying to try to kill. Dizzy Ninja, and it is successful. And that Lancer does have re-raise, mind you. Alright, Mirror Monster takes down uh, Larsa, the Time Age. 144 to the trigger speed save. Lancer gets right back up. So it's right now two on three. Okay, and Xfani is ready to go for a Muramasa again. No confusion proc. And that goes um okay, it's three on one. Can Wiz can Wiz the Lancer pull his team back? I'm not so sure. It's a four on one now. And this one's going to poke the marksman down, but he doesn't have to be raised. So, yep, it's four on one. And I think this one's going to Gagnon. Wow. Wow. So, Gagnon, you'll be moving on to the Elite Eight, the quarterfinals. You'll be moving on. Wiz, I'm sorry, my friend. You had a good run, but you'll be going down to the loser's bracket. GG.